Well, hello everybody. This is Mrs. Southern E-Biking and we've got some drama in the North Carolina e-biking world. Stick around. We got some stuff to talk about. Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, Mrs. Southern E-Biking, that beautiful bride of mine, has run across some drama here in North Carolina concerning e-bikes. And so, how you doing today? So, she's going she's gonna to share with us a little bit, and I'll give a little bit of my thoughts on it as well. Boy, we got a busy trail coming up today. So, without further ado... On your left. One more on your left. Thank you so much. Without further ado, take it away, darling. Oh my goodness, guys. You know, what's life without drama? I mean, social media has created a whole new concept of on what your left. Hello, drama puppy. is. I, you know, and I belong to a couple of groups and they're e-biking groups and horse groups and you know how the fighting is between horse people and e-bikes and hikers. Anyway, there's everybody a, and everybody. Yeah, pretty much. Everybody's got a butthole and everybody's got an opinion. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway. So eloquently put. That's it. So anyway, I was I was scrolling mindlessly through Facebook the other day, and I saw a post titled titled Dupont Danger. They are allowing e-bikers or something along those lines. And so I thought, oh, I've got to read this. So. The gist of the post is that the horse community in our DuPont Forest, which if you've never been, it's, it's really a beautiful place, just tagging that, um, they do not allow e-bikes, not pedal assist, not nothing, none, zero. Um, we do have a cyclist coming up. I see a light coming up, so just yep, be aware. Yep. So anyway, the horse, the horse person uh, was all up in arms because apparently one of the people in their club horse club who rides horses now has been permitted to ride um horses. no warning so let me horses. interrupt you for just a second no okay. warning no nothing he come by me about a foot on the left right as that other rider was passing through okay and the e-bikers are the problem right okay <laughs> but continue anyway so this 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 person apparently has some comorbidities that keep him from being able to ride a regular bicycle but he was given a doctor's note or or something from his doctor that recommended him to be able to be allowed to ride e an e-bike in dupont national forest or dupont state i think it's a state forest and uh the rangers he approached the rangers uh, at the forest and asked them if he would be allowed to ride his e-bike. and they As a mobility device, basically. Yes, yes as, as, as an ADA kind of a thing. Um, and I personally have no problem with that. Uh, you know, it's obvious that from, from what I read about his conditions that he's not going to be gallivanting at 20 miles an hour zooming through the, the park and, you know, causing a wreaking havoc. So, um, so this person who put this post up there, I mean, it became the biggest bash fest about e-bikes. No, it you became know. a bash fest about everything. No, everybody, but it really Everybody became, bashing everything. No, no, it did not. It was a bash fest against e-bikers. Well, yeah, and but then they said mountain, mountain bikers. bikers and yeah. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. it, it started out because of the e-bikes. And, and, and let, me, let me put in here for anybody that does not know, Michelle does a tremendous amount of hiking. We have, I, I made a, my living as, as a horse person for many, many years. Majority of my life, I made my living on the back of a horse. Uh, and we also e-bike. Yeah. So we come from all sides of this. We yeah, understand we, I know all, all aspects I know all three, of this. all three aspects yes. of this. Yeah, we know. We don't understand some everybody, of this. Everybody can, can, sur can uh, thrive on the trail with a little bit of common courtesy and, and some tolerance, you know. But are we going straight, Blaine? Yeah. Okay. But anyway, I mean, they were they were talking about the man's weight 
they were talking about, I mean, it was just, it was absolutely terrible. And then somebody finally came on and said, um, you know, what's the problem? He, he's not doing anything illegal. Uh, he's, he's not, and, and uh, there are some places, from what I understand, I don't have uh, absolute proof of this yet, um, but there are apparently some places that are now considering e-bikes as ADA devices. Personal mobility. Personal, personal mobility devices, devices. Which actually sets a precedent on a video that we're going to be doing upcoming where we're maybe looking into a, this a bit more. Yeah. But, um, you know, I mean, if it's, if it's legal and he's not causing a menace, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, people uh, don't understand that somebody who can't do something like, it, you know, there, there's plenty of older folk out there that used to ride regular bicycles and they can't do it anymore because of physical limitations. But now they're riding e-bikes and it's like, you know, second chance of life here. I, don't, I can't understand why somebody would well, deny a person but, that. But, but, I, but I do understand the mentality behind this and it on is your left. two of us on your left two of us thank you so much have a great day uh i i do understand the mentality of this and it's the mentality that we're getting as a society of self-entitlement that we see all the time and i'll use being as this is kind of coming into a political season, you know, uh, it used to be, I wanted this guy to get in and I really hoped he got in and if he didn't get in, well, I'm gonna live with it and I'm gonna live with the other. Now you got people saying, well, we're leaving the country if this guy gets in, well, we're gonna, uh, you know, <clears throat> it, is, it is just, yeah. Uh, so that's the, that's the entitlement mentality that we're getting as a society that is a bad thing. But I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I need to do some research on that, but I was, I was just absolutely astounded at, well, I shouldn't say I was astounded. It's, it's a typical thing, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I was, I was absolutely floored by the nasty comments from people. But I mean, there were also other people coming on and saying, Hey, look, you know, the trails are for everybody. This guy didn't do anything wrong. He actually did everything right. Why are you sitting there, you know, making fun of his comorbidities? Uh, why are, you know, what, what is it that, that gives you the right to sit there and say, this guy can't enjoy his life, you know, uh, a little bit, you know? But anyway, so that's, that's where I'm at on that. I and, just, you know, it, it's shameful. It's, and, it's really shameful. And you're right. And you know what? To me, it's, it's not unexpected. And, that, you know, you don't really see a lot of the, the comments that come across on that banning e-bikes in Florida. You know, that's still our most watched video. Yeah. Uh, and, and, the, and the nastiness that people come through with that on either side, on yeah. either side. I mean, look. And, and that's why I said that self-entitlement attitude yeah. that people I mean, get in as a society. You're going you're gonna to have, have that kind of thing in everything. But, but it's, it's, I mean, really a little bit of, of patience, a little bit of uh, grace. And just a whole lot of, hey, I'm out here having fun, and I'm glad that that e-biker or that biker or that hiker's having a good time, too. Uh, you know, it's, it, it was just yeah. disheartening reading there's, all the nasty comments. Yeah, there's not a live and let live mentality yeah. much anymore. But it does bring us into something much new, and unless you wanted to kind of go over some of the comments that you were hearing, which I don't know that there's any point in that. No. It, maybe it, there is, maybe there's not. But... It brings in this set because DuPont Forest has said that e-bikes are a personal mobility device. And this is what we're looking into because that sets a, a how y'all doing today? That sets a huge precedent that selects electric motor or electric bicycles e yeah. as a personal mobility device. Yeah. And that means anywhere there is an e-bike trail how y'all doing today uh, if they if they say there's no e-bikes allowed personal mobility devices are allowed and how are you going to differentiate yeah, between gonna, that because we, it's unlawful for somebody to require you 
to give out your medical information of why you need this. You know, so is it going to come down to you get a placard for a bike? And would it be something that people are able to do? How you doing? I can, I can tell you vast, vast majority of people that I see on e-bikes are older couples or older individuals. And so, you know, it sets a very, what could be a very good, but very abused precedent that we don't know if that's gonna be a good thing for the industry or a bad thing for the industry. Yeah. What, you, you see what I'm saying, Michelle? And that's yep. something we're gonna do more. Yeah, so I, I, I just kinda wanted to give a, yeah. give a little shout out to that. And I'd love to hear everybody's opinions of, you know, what they think. One more coming by you. Have a great day. So anyway, that's pretty much gonna wrap this up. Yeah, I, I think so. Put your put your thoughts down there uh, on yeah what we what we had talked about. Would you speak to your doctor about an e-bike as a personal mobility device? Uh, and and you know give us some give us some feedback on this. Like I said, we're kind of interested in looking into this a little bit deeper. Yeah, I might to, even call the Rangers out. up at Dupont. Yeah, to find out a, a little bit more of what we can find out uh, <coughs> on all these parts. So, I think that's going to wrap it up. What you think there, Michelle? Yep, it's going to wrap it up. All right, well, we got a, I'll tell you, we got a, some nice little traffic jams going on today, which I love to see people out on the trail. How you doing today? Too. One more. Thank you so much. Uh, with that being right. said, with that yeah. being said, Southern E-Biking and Mrs. Southern E-Biking. And what are we telling them? Stay safe. God bless. And don't run people over. <laughs> well, how do you, how do you, how, sometimes you can't avoid that if you keep the wheels rolling. Yeah, hey, well. Once again, we're out.